All right, guys, so before I put all the tools away, show you what I've been working on here. This camera will stop doing the gay flash thing. So as you can see, giant pack of batteries with my 225 watt inverter connected to a probably half horse to one horse weed whacker motor. Exposed wires because I was just testing. Originally I did it so that the motor shaft was actually touching the tire and then I rebuilt it with this uh, Mad Beast transmission, the other one that I made with the steel gears that was too low on the ratio. So I put it all together. And the motor ratio is actually almost the exact same as when it was touching just the shaft directly on the tire. So the gear ratio is still still too low. And I need a bigger inverter. But uh, my buddy Dan Alpat says he has a 800 watt inverter that I can try. And if that works, then I will probably buy like a 1000 watt inverter or something, maybe even a little bit bigger, 1200, and mount it on here somewhere so that this will work without shutting down my inverter. Okay, so here we have, I'll just run you through the electronics setup here. We have a big pack of batteries going to inverter, and then it comes from the inverter to a dimmer. Maya, shut up. Maya, make me hit you, bitch. So it goes to the dimmer switch. This is like an industrial dimmer. It's good for up to uh, 15 amps, I think it is. This thing will dim 15 amps. Okay, so that's the dimmer, and then from there goes to the motor. So, basically how you do this, just turn it on. I'll let you see from a distance so you can see what it does. So as you can see, if I try and give it too much throttle, the inverter cuts out. And I know it's the inverter because I've used that inverter many times. And if you ever overload it, like too much uh, power draw, it just shuts off and kills your power. So. It actually has pretty decent acceleration. So, obviously it's a little bouncy because my hockey puck tire My hockey puck's not square and this whole thing's not balanced, but It'll work. Shut up, bitch. So anyway, if everything goes well, I'm gonna remake 
this possibly into just a solid steel round wheel because it's barely even slipping with this cheesy old hockey puck that's like damn near smooth and it is it's like like no traction but anyway like I said guys I'll get a bigger uh, bigger inverter and uh, let you know how it goes because it should work pretty good and to, to attach the motor I actually used an old Wheelie King drive shaft which should work pretty be pretty good because it's not bending which means it shouldn't really wear out the plastic all it has to do is transfer a little bit of power so anyway guys I'll uh, keep you updated and I'll let you know when I get that big inverter